Hello everyone, this is Akun and welcome for a new video of Civilization 5. Uh, in this one we play uh, my mod on version 4. I'm sorry I cannot finish the, f the last uh, Let's Play with Ethiopia. Uh, it's been too long and the mod has changed too much. Uh, so uh, we will play this one. This one will be finished and it will be released at the same time as the update to the mod. Um, in this video, I play as uh, Theodora of the Byzantine Empire. Uh, she is mostly the same as before, but she has two changes. Uh, the first one is that her cataphract has a unique, uh, unique ability, which is that it can always be bought with faith, regardless of whether or not you pick the right uh, belief. Uh, the, her next change is that the Drummond is now uh, a unique unit and no longer uh, replace the trireme. Uh, it has been moved to optics, but it no longer as you can now make both drummond and trireme if you want to make uh, coastal attack. So we will play a Theodora. Uh, the map is a Pangea map on uh, demigod difficulty. Uh, this is the NQ Pangea map, which uh, is a uh, to, to put it simply, it's usually nice Pangeas. Um, the base game, uh, the base game maps are a little bit harder than the NQ maps, uh, unless you get a very very good start. But on average, the NQ map is uh, better than your average map because uh, you have a lot more resources and uh, extra and bonus resources. It's uh, the the terrain is also nicer. So we play on the demigod difficulty, which uh, is between DT and Immortal, but in my mod is already above DT from the base game, in my opinion. Um, okay. So for those that don't know what my mod does, it's a balance mod, which focuses on the rebalancing um, options and uh, with small changes, and also uh, tries to uh, tries to make the AI play better. So you can see it as the same as the NQ mod, but with uh, a name at single player, uh, at the single player experience. So you will have a tougher challenge, uh, especially at the highest difficulties. And uh, my my changes also try to uh, to help the AI to in order to. Uh, what I mean is that my changes are AI friendly. So I also picked uh, a coastal start because I want uh, to show the new coastal uh, coastal gameplay or coastal cities, uh, how they work. Uh, before the lighthouse used to boost both food and production from sea tiles. Now it only gives food to sea tiles, but the production has been moved to the warp boat, so it makes a smoother experience where you don't feel uh, that coastal starts take so long to start, which wasn't very fitting uh, both thematically and it was quite annoying. Uh, the next changes is that both the harbor and the seaport now improves all sea tiles rather than just uh, resources in gold and production respectively. Uh, okay, so let's start. Uh, in my mod you don't need to settle on uh, on hills because uh, everywhere you settle you will always get two foot two hammers. You should settle on the hills when uh, it's a good position and when you fear an attack because you will still get the defense bonus. Okay, so let's put it here. So we have quite a very good start here with uh, four C tiles. And since we play Constantinople, we will probably be able to pick both Sea uh, God and uh, a Pantheon for Faith. Because I want to play a Faith game, considering uh, we play with, with uh, Byzantium. Uh, okay, so let's always start with the Scout. Um, okay, let me see here. 
So I will start with Animal Husbandry since I play with Strategic Balance. I'm guaranteed to get some horses. The soundtrack you're listening to is uh, the one from Civilization 4 because Civilization 5 blocks YouTube videos. If I put its, it's uh, music. Right, so we got the Spearman. Which at this point may allow us to bully some city states. We will see. Right, uh, well, no, okay. because of the overall power. Okay, one west and one east. Okay, so, alright, there is the King Solomon. Right, first neighbor, China. Doesn't want, uh, yeah, they want our lands, of course, especially since uh, they're probably very close. Okay, so since I want to play uh, um, a faith game, I will use one uh, strategy that I've developed with my mod, which is to go both tradition and piety, which is something that I like. So I will open tradition. Uh, I will make a third one. So we have some horses here. So I go pottery. Right, I wonder where China is. I think I made a mistake with this uh, this scout here. Oh, I think I'm lucky. Okay, so we got part three. So I could go either uh, toward bronze walking or straight to thaning and then improve these styles. Uh, this is what I will probably do. Uh, but I don't really have the time. Well, let's go to sailing. Oh. Okay. So I make a worker, just in case it takes me too long to grab one. I've got the AI. So we have China over here. I see if I can get one from her. It's nice. So let's grab our free monument.
So I cannot grab it uh, because uh, it's on a hill, so I probably would die. Especially since she wants. Uh, well, I don't know if she has uh, already the. How is it called? Oligarchy? But this one, this one is easier because I would get shot only by the city. The warrior cannot. Uh, yeah, this is on the hill. Yes, the warrior can only go here or here, so I will be safe. So we have the Mount Sinai here. Uh, so far I am not seeing someone that could grab it from us so I think it's a good option to, to take alright crappy map alright and we can go out of range It's a good idea in the mod to to not really care for uh, the hate that this will uh, generate because the mod makes uh, stealing worker a bit more uh, difficult because uh, because the AI will hate you for a long time if you steal uh, steal its workers. But uh, since I plan to go to uh, at war with China in the future, I'm not really worried too much about it. Right, and then uh, yeah, let's move out. I will use this scout to escort the worker. Okay, this guy somewhere north All right so i will start to bring him back so probably it could go here So I could grab this extra worker from the city-state. Since it's a military one, I don't care that much. Okay, so we have Pachakuti in the neighborhood. Too bad, too bad Beijing isn't next to the sea, otherwise I would do a drum and rush. Uh, yeah, I don't have mining yet actually. It would be the next thing. Babylon. Right, I can make peace right away because anyway the, the the mod makes it very hard to farm workers because uh, I've increased the range your bo uh, border of uh, AI's AI uh, AI's and uh, city states C, so it makes it almost uh, impossible to get two workers, uh, multiple workers by uh, just staying in the neighborhood. 
Okay, so I have three pop. Next pop is in 16. Or I could go straight for a settler. I think I would go for a one warrior. What should I do here? Or I should be safe with this spear. Because with this I'm waiting for piety anyway. So now I will go one turn of a settler. Let me see. Nine. 10. Okay, so 10 it is. Okay, uh, so this is what I do. I open tradition and then legalism, and then I can open piety to get a very, very quick shrine like this. Right, so we have Sweden there, some extra happiness. So, yeah, I have this one, but uh, I think it will wait until I can get a little bit more units. Okay, so Sinai is here. We could settle here, or in this uh, in this area. So this one would be harder to defend, but it's a uh, way better with a lot more uh, stuff. Uh, s but it's closer to him. Uh, doesn't really want my land yet, but yeah, this is probably his capital. England. Okay, so uh, this one. Uh, sh sh sh. All right, so let's grab mining quickly, and then here I can go grab a work boat. Or do I need a work boat at this point? Or can it wait? I think I can use a work boat. Since work boats are pretty cheap in uh, in the mode. So, we have a very good expansion here, especially if we get God of the Sea, uh, with a, like a settling like right here would give us all all six uh, resources, uh, five, one, two, three, yeah. So probably settling here or here 
of the two best options. We also get this stone, and I plan to grab the stone fountain. So we would make a city here. We have one, two. Uh, we have uh, gold here. Uh, should look what's down here. Look what's down here. See if there are some nice sea tiles in this area and then the fourth one could be here I will make ju just four myself since we play with tradition so one two three something like this and I won't make it too far so I'm probably will just set on on the gems uh, one two three or oh, I'm there, there are these truffles, not sure how to grab them. Face it on here. One, two, three, it's too far. Face it on here. I get the, the two bison, the truffle, the cattle, the river. Uh, I'm missing the mountain, but since it's close to him, I prefer to settle on the hill. Uh, the bad part is that Sinai would be two tiles or I could go four or five and set on this one uh, later on but this one is very very risky I think especially if, if I want to go uh, toward Beijing first uh, this, this one would be very very risky uh, though I have cotton which I don't really re already have. So I wonder. There are some nice stuff here too with the Mount Kimanjaro. So I have quite a good uh, good solutions. Uh, I think this one is really worth it if I get uh, God of the Sea. I think this one is the best here. It's the safest. It's costly because I would have to buy this mountain and this mountain. Something like 200 for 50. But uh, it's a way better uh, position, I think, than uh, somewhere here which is risky, especially if I go toward Beijing first. At least Be uh, China isn't uh, isn't expanding in my direction so far. So we'll see if she wants to make peace. Okay, so at least I can get peace for now. Okay, so for a pantheon, I could grab uh, stone works, uh, so stone circles, and then after mining, going straight for masonry. Alright, I will make a pause here. Thank you everyone for listening and see you in the next video.